Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Rob Lurch, and today I'm gonna to be giving you my best advice on how to pass the FE exam. Personally, I took the FE civil exam about three years ago and thankfully passed it. But this video really will apply to all FE as well as all PE exams. So make sure you stay tuned. And of course, if you do enjoy the video, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at the Lurchness Monster. All right. Let's get into it. A little bit about myself. I am a civil engineer. I work in New York City. I have about three years of working experience. I went to Columbia University for my master's in engineering. Before that, I went to Stony Brook University for my undergrad in civil engineering. Now the FE exam is a total of 110 questions broken down into two parts. Um, and the total time is about six hours. So if you break that down, it's about three minutes per question. And that three minute threshold is really important. And I'm gonna talk about that later in the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. There is a break in between each part, uh, which I do recommend taking, but that'll be up to you. And of course, the FE exam pretty much covers everything you learned in your undergraduate degree. So for civils, It'd be like, you know, the first part's gonna be like statics, dynamics, economics, statistics. And the second part of the exam will be like the main core civil engineering classes you took, like transportational, structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, and water resources. So that's pretty much the FE exam in a nutshell. Now let's talk about how to prepare for the FE. The first thing that you should do is make an account on the NCES website. This is where you'll get a lot of your reference materials from and where you can register for the exam. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do so. And if you had done that, good on you. The second step is looking at the calculator policy, which I will put in the link in the description below. Um, it's really key that you look at the calculators. They allow you to take into the exam and you purchase one and you use that while you're doing practice problems. Make sure you become comfortable and familiar with the calculator. That's super important. The one I use is the TI30XS. Super easy to use, but also has a lot of nice functions. If you wanna check it out, link in the description below. The third step is downloading the FE reference manual. Depending on which FE or PE exam you're taking, make sure you download the correct manual. You can find this on the NCES website, but basically this is gonna be your holy Bible for taking whichever exam that you take. Um, it's really important that while you're doing your practice problems, make sure you get comfortable with this manual it has all the equations and concepts and concepts that you'll need to best prepare and solve the problems on exam day. I like to mention that you can control find or control search using, you know, keywords, key letters through the manual because it is quite large and this saves you a lot of time. Now, once you have an account on the NCS website, you have your calculator and you have the reference manual downloaded, you're ready to start studying for the exam. These are the absolute two best ways that helped me pass the exam. The first purchase is about $40. This is the NCES practice exam. You can get it on the NCES website as well as amazon.com. Link will be in the description below if you wanna check it out. But for $40, you get 100 practice problems and 100 solutions for those practice problems. The great thing about this and this applies for both the FE and the PE. The questions in this exam are as close as possible as you'll see on the real exam. Not too much easier, not too much harder, right in that nice sweet spot. So if you can solve these problems well, you'll be very prepared for the real thing. I like to mention that you need a 70% or higher, roughly, to pass the FE civil exam. Um, so if you can score about a 75% or higher on this, you're in good shape. In addition to the practice exam, the best way I think to prepare and study is with an online course. Three years ago, I took the School of PE online course for the FE civil exam. And let me tell you, I could not have felt more prepared going into that exam. I like the School of PE course so much that right now I'm taking their PE course to practice and prepare for the PE exam, which I'm gonna take in a few months. The School of PE, is broken down into two options. The first option is the live online version. The second option is the online on-demand version. I like to say that both these versions are online, so you won't be going to an actual tangible classroom. They'll both be on your computer. The live version, you'll be getting all the workshop notes 
all the workshop practice problems your heart could desire, as well as quizzes, and you'll be attending live online lectures with professors who are absolute experts in their field, who I thought were incredible at, you know, just presenting the knowledge and getting you ready for the exam. In real time, you can ask them questions in the chat box and they are really helpful and will stop lecture to make sure all the questions are answered. I personally took the on-demand version. It's quite similar. You're given all the same notes, workshop problems, quizzes, all the material you need. The one difference is you're given the recorded live lectures from the live version. So you can't ask your professors in real time questions, but you could always email them. I'd also like to say that a lot of the questions that I had were answered by the students taking the live version. So I really had no trouble um, going through the recorded lectures. Um, they helped me a ton and made me feel super prepared for the actual exam. And just to give you some statistics, First time test takers taking the FE civil exam score about a 70% um, passing rate. After taking the School of PE refresher course, these test takers on the first go around score about a 90%. So this is a 20% differential, which is pretty massive in my opinion. And honestly, going into that exam, you wanna feel as confident and best prepared as possible. And you only wanna take it once because it's a lot of preparation it's a lot of practice problems, so it's best to be fully prepared going in. If you want to check out the School of P, FE, and P refresher courses, as well as the additional study material they offer, I will put a link in the description below, so definitely check that out. Now I want to offer you some tips and tricks on how you can pass the FE exam. The first thing, going back to that three minute per question threshold, it's super key. Time management plays a big role in this exam. Some questions are harder than others. So if you find yourself stuck after three minutes on one question, flag it, give it your best answer and move on. And hopefully you can come back to it and solve it. But the worst thing that could happen is you stick on a problem for 10 minutes and you don't get to the easier ones later on and you run out of time. So make sure three minutes per question, bring a watch on exam day. And if you're stuck after three minutes, flag it, give it your best shot, and move on because there's gonna be easier problems that you need to get to and solve. The second tip of advice is know your conversions, your units, and key variables. Um, of course, if you forget any of these, they are in the reference manual, so you won't be left to dry. You could always look them up, but it's super important to know right off the bat, the conversion from cubic yards to cubic feet, meters to feet, and key variables like gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared, as well as the unit weight of water, 62.4 pounds per foot cubed. These come up all the time. It's good to know them off the top of your head, but if you do forget, of course, they are in the reference manual, so don't sweat it too much. Another trick I wanna talk about is the method of back solving. This really applies if you don't know how to solve a question. You have to remember that the majority of the questions on the FE exam are multiple choice, meaning that one of the potential answers they give you is the correct one. So if you don't know how to solve a problem, take each answer choice and plug them back into the question and see which one makes the most sense. This will at least eliminate two of the, the potential answers, giving you a 50-50 shot at choosing the correct one. The last piece of advice I'd like to give you is do as many practice problems as possible. This is the best way to prepare for the exam, both the FE and the PE exams. That is why I recommended the NCS practice exam as well as the School of PE refresher course because they give you as many practice problems as your heart will desire. And when you're doing these problems, make sure you struggle through them without looking at the solution first. Use the reference manual to look up the concepts and equations which can help you solve the problem. And once you get to a stopping point or once you get a potential answer, then you can look at the solution and go from there. Well, that's pretty much everything that I have for you today. If you did enjoy the content, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at the Lurchness Monster. Remember, preparation is key. Confidence is killer. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. I'm Rob Lurch. Thank you so much for watching.